After the success of the Indian team at the World Youth Championships 2022, where both Ilam Parthi and Pranav Anand won the gold medals, we are now at the World Cadets Championships 2022, and this is taking place in Georgia. And we have six categories. While World Youth dealt with 14, 16, and 18, under 14, under 16, under 18, World Cadets is under 8, under 10, under 12. and we have a beautiful contingent of young talents i would say many of the players from here are going to be the future champions of our country so let's have a look at who is doing well in this event and who is leading let's begin with the under 8 open section in the under 8 open section we have this young boy safin safarullah khan who is right now in third position but in joint lead with 7 points out of 8 8 eight rounds have been completed 3 more are left to go he has 100 111 rating points that he has gained from this event so clearly a huge huge talent uh, and he lives in the uae he represents india and he is uh, and playing phenomenally and i hope that in the last 3 rounds he is able to sort of show his best chess and win the gold In the under 10 section, we have Vivan Vishal Shah. Uh, Vivan is the under 10 national champion, and he is right now on six out of eight. Uh, and this is the picture of Vivan and Charvi, both of them becoming the under 10 national champions of India. Uh, for Charvi, who is playing in the under eight section, she is currently. in third position she lost her eighth round game but she had started off beautifully with 6 and 1/2 out of 7 so she still is in with a chance to win the gold three more rounds to go if she wins all three of her games very likely that she might do that but right now she is a one point she is one point behind sivanandan bodhana from england going to the under 12 uh, section where we have ethan was who is act, who is playing in um in the under 12 he is at number 5 position now ethan is someone who i had once spoken with grandmaster swayam mishra and had told me that he is a big big talent and he has gained 128 elo points already and is on 6 out of 8 uh quite possible that if he does well in the last three rounds he will end up with a medal but already playing amazingly well and just below him is adi reddy arjun who is also another big talent and uh, rb ramesh who is his trainer has been speaking a lot about him 120 points gained here so both these indians doing really well in the under uh, 12 boys in the under 8 girls as we saw charvi there she is leading and uh, she's i mean the top rated indian and samhita is on number 13 position on 5 and 1/2 so if samhita does well in the last 3 games she also has a chance to finish really well in the under 10 girls we have adia ranganathan and hania shah who are on uh, 10th and 13th position uh, adia has gained 124 elo points which is amazing and uh, even hania has a chance for the medal so these two girls if they finish in uh, top 3 have good chance finish well have chances to finish in top 3 and then uh, for me i think one of the girls whom i have been mighty mightily impressed in this tournament shubhi gupta in second position in under 12 girls uh, i have simply loved her games i have gone through them she was also part of india's got chess talent which happened like one day before she left for georgia but the way she has played i'm going to show you one of her games and i'm also very happy to see shreya hiparagi on number 10 position if you guys remember one of the youtube memberships month of one month was given to shreya and she is a very talented youngster so it's great to see that she is doing so well uh so the game let's go to the game and i'm going to show you this game which i think is a tremendous game uh, played in the third round between maria kolya kolyavko and shubhi gupta uh, playing with black is shubhi e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 d4 we have the scotch on the board pawn takes knight takes bishop c5 
take here generally the main move here is queen f6 to threaten a mate in one oops sorry threaten a mate in one and also the knight can later be taken uh, not with the queen but with the b pawn but uh, should be went for b takes c6 which is not bad bishop d3 d6 knight c3 knight f6 castles castles so we have a normal position on the board knight a4 bishop b6 and i thought black White would take the bishop, have the bishop pair, or maybe go bishop g5, which also looks like a nice move. But white went c4, and this is already an error. Try to find what did Shubi play here after six minutes of thought. Fantastic. The d4 square has been weakened, so let's move in with the bishop. Excellent move if you found it. Very nicely played. Black is already better. Bishop c2, and now the bishop is attacked. You just solidify it with c5. Good move. Knight to c3. And now uh, maybe bishop e6 and black is doing very well. But Shubhi went c6. Bishop g5. h6. Bishop h4. Rook b8. Putting pressure on the b2 point. Rook b1. Bishop e6. And now a very good move by Maria queen d3. And Maria's idea is e5. And then maybe take on f6 and then mate on h7. You see the bishop here. So here's my question to you. What would you play here as black? I think this next move shows how mature a player should be is. Because when you see such a thing, you start getting really freaked out. You play a move like g5 and so on, which is not bad. But look at this move. Just rook e8. Very calm. And this is a great understanding of chess. Why? Because imagine that black plays, uh, white plays e5, you take bishop f6, queen f6, and the queen does come in, but king f8, that's why the rook was played to e8, and now the king will come out. So, very good play. Uh, b3 was played here, and now should be uh, makes an error. She should have gone either bishop g4 here, which is a nice little move, or g5 followed by bishop g4, and black is equal. But she went bishop e5. Allowing the very nice move uh, here f4. I am not sure as to what is it that she missed uh, in this position. It uh, could be like for example maybe she missed that she could take queen takes and perhaps she wanted to go knight e4. This could have been one of her plans here. Um to win material but i guess what she could have missed is that after something like queen e1 which defends uh, here the bishop it looks already very dangerous uh, in this position so maybe this was her initial plan uh, here but after queen e1 maybe this is the move that she had not foreseen and which is why uh, she decided that oh i can't play this anymore and bishop e5 turns into a, a mistake. So that's the reason why Shubhi went for bishop d4 check now. But now if white had gone bishop f2, white was clearly better. But he went, she went king h1. And now is your next question. What would you play here as black, black to play? This next move is just tremendous because white is doing so well here. There's a pin here. The pawns are in the center. The rook can move to e1. It looks very dangerous. But Shubhi's next move was bishop f5. Wow, what a move. What a move this is. The main point being that if you take here, she wants to enter with her rook and pick up this knight. And she would have equalized the game. So a brilliant uh, decision here and well spotted by Shubhi. I really liked her sharp sharpness here. But taking might have been the best choice here because after rook b1, your next question is what did Shubhi play here? Black to play. Boom. What a move. Again, knight e4. See, if you take the queen now, then after knight f2, already the position is lost. If king g1, we have knight takes d3 check and winning position. Pick up the bishop on d8. The um other move after bishop d8 knight f2 is rook f2 but then you take on e1 rook f1 bishop d3 rook e1 and now an important move 
bishop c2 yes not bishop c3 because if you take bishop c3 there is rook e8 and bishop d3 check like he'll take the bishop but rather bishop c2 and black is totally better here so you can't take the queen you must take the knight but after queen h4 shubi is just winning here queen f3 d5 again a powerful move g3 queen g4 takes takes knight d2 she took here and now the final blow black to play and win many ways to win but shubi's move was pretty bishop c3 the rook can't come to e2 or d1 and black is totally winning so a beautiful game by shubi gupta here uh, and she's playing amazingly well maybe she'll win the gold but more than that it's these games these beautiful games that these players are creating there is what is very exciting uh, i hope that all the youngsters do well in the last three rounds india wins a lot of medals uh, it's very exciting to follow these young talents for now this is sagar shah signing off bye bye